welcome back to my channel. Today I am back for another amazing video for you today. This is my super mega haul today and I'm so excited to share it with you. Um, I have been waiting. Oh, some of these things I had for a little while. So I'm so excited to share it with you. Again, I put a little bit more here in my new Disney room, but you may still a little hear a little bit of like an echo or like I'm in an empty room, which I'm most likely in. I mean, there's more, a little bit more, but I still have a ton of stuff to move in here. But um, yeah, I am so excited to share this. So if you're ready to see my mega haul, come on back. start out with a huge bang. Um, I don't know if I've really discussed this very much with you here on my channel, but my father-in-law is a wonderful artist. He lives on the coast um, in South Carolina and um, he's just a self-taught artist and um, he's been an artist for years. He's in his 80s now, still teaching art. Um, still doing art and just living his best life and y'all you know I told you I, I have a new DC room and he wanted to paint me something and because I'm a huge Disney fan. He wanted to do something for my room and he, you know, he gave it to me. So there was no, uh, you know, trade value in it or nothing like that. Uh, but it is a Disney inspired piece, but he kind of, I gave, I sent him some pictures of things that I wanted that I would love to have in a, in a painting. And I said, just make it your own. You know, I'd be happy with any of this. Uh, just do your own interpretation of it. And y'all, it is stunning. I'm going to show you now the picture that my father-in-law painted for me. And again, it was a gift to me. So uh, he was able to do it Disney inspired. And um, y'all, I'm just so excited to show you. So let me get the camera and take you and show you, okay? Okay guys, are you ready to see my painting? Oh my gosh. Yes, oh my gosh. This is the painting that my father-in-law did for me. I told him I love Beauty and the Beast, that I love castles, and he just kind of created his own thing. He painted the castle up here, and then he had all of the pixie dust coming down to a scene with Beauty and the Beast on the balcony, and I love it. Oh my gosh. You can see over here, he also signed it and put my name on it. So... <laughs> I'm just so thrilled for this gorgeous painting. And I thank him so, so much for it. It's absolutely stunning. So, wanted to share my gorgeous painting, which is probably gonna go right here on this wall, or maybe over um, by my display. So, just wanted to show you how stunning it is. Thank you, Barney. Was that not amazing? He is so talented. He's an amaz amazing artist. He's had paintings in the White House. Um, we're just so proud of him. And um, he is still, like I said, living his best life in his 80s. Just getting it. So, thank you, Barney. His name's Barney. Thank you, Barney, so much for the gorgeous, gorgeous painting. Okay, I want to show you something that I have shown you in the past from this particular person. And um, 
it's a pair of ears that I posted on um, my Instagram account and everybody just flipped over them. They're absolutely stunning and they're for Christmas. And y'all, she sent me a pair to give away. So y'all, I'm not advertising throughout Instagram or any other way that this is a giveaway in, the, in this particular video because I don't want a bunch of scammers hopping in and trying to, you know, trick people. But I promise you, this will not end until the date that I'm giving you. And I personally will let you know, I will never message you and ask you to send me money. So please don't fall for scammers if by chance they get involved in this. But I want to do a giveaway. I haven't done a giveaway in a long time on YouTube because of that. And so I've been doing everything on Instagram. But I want to do it here on YouTube. And um, I just love this. Y'all are going to flip. It's, again, a beautiful pair of ears. And it's from Ears Abounding, my friend Carrie Ann. She is amazing, and y'all are gonna love these ears. And I'm gonna give them away to a special person here today. And so, here they are. <laughs> these are beautiful. Just stunning. Look at these golden snowflakes. This beautiful gold, feels looks like gold lame type material. Carrie Ann makes the most beautiful bows on her ears. And then it's got this gorgeous red, um, I'll show you the back, this gorgeous red velvety type material. And of course she always puts a hidden Mickey on the back. I just love the work and the details. Um, let me see if I can bring it up closer. So, you can see the roping that she has done here. Just stunning. Um, and then there's roping here in the middle. Just, just beautiful work. Even on the back, she secures it with the roping again. And puts her pretty little hidden Mickey there. Wonderful headbands. As I've always told you, I love her headbands. They were so wide and comfortable. I don't even know I have a pair on. These are from her as well. These are her Sally ears. And she sent these to me and I love them. I just love it. I love the simplicity of it, but yet the creative look that she's done around the edges. I love this particular uh, material that she used. And I just love the plain black bow. Just gorgeous. So, so I'm going to be giving these away to one lucky winner and y'all all I need you to do is comment down in the comment section what is your favorite Christmas, Di it can be Disney or non-Disney, it doesn't matter, what's your favorite Christmas movie? Um, you know, Polar Express, The Santa Claus, um, there's just a ton of Christmas movies so comment down below your favorite Christmas movie, and I know that you want to be entered in this giveaway for these gorgeous, gorgeous ears from Miss Carrie Ann at Ears Abounding, and I will put you in uh, the drawing. So, we're going to run the giveaway to next Sunday, so we're going to run it for one week, and um, I'll put the date and all that kind of stuff down in the description, but we'll run it for one week. And it'll end on Sunday of next week. And um, y'all, oh my gosh, you got to be entering. Carrie Ann does amazing, amazing ears. And if you want these beautiful ears for the Christmas holidays, definitely head and enter the contest. Be sure to check uh, Carrie Ann out at her Etsy shop, Ears Abounding. I'll put her link all her information down below so that you can do that. And y'all, there are so many ears that she does that are just beautiful. So you definitely want to check out her shop. And um, yeah, I think you'll be absolutely thrilled with what she has. So get to entering. Okay guys, now what I want to show you is something so cute. I've seen this. I've purchased this myself off of Pink All Mode because they had an incredible sale. Y'all, you do 
need to go try um, out Pink Hollow Mode. They have incredible items, they have incredible releases, but um, not only that, they have incredible um, sales. Y'all, I got this at a killer price and I just could not pass it up. It was under $10. And you know, I love Hocus Pocus. It's been that time of year and I was like, ah, I want this so badly. And y'all, it is, and you know how I love pouches anyway. This is a pouch from Hocus Pocus. Y'all, this is a cosmetic bag that they had from the Hocus Pocus series, and I love it. Um, I thought right off the bat when seeing it online that the whole thing had a velvet finish to it. Only velvet thing is this part, this dark part here at the top. The rest is a vegan leather. And here's the little tag. And um, it, the velvet part goes around the back. And it's purple. I love it. It's so pretty. I love the little shoestring tie at the front. Um, I just love how it's laced up. Let me bring it up and let you see it. So look how pretty this is. Is that not gorgeous? So, so pretty. And then again, this part up here is velvet. Everything else is vegan leather. Uh, the velvet part goes around to this side. This whole part here is still vegan leather. And then you have this embroidered and it, and says, it says, boys will love me. So who do you think that is? So but anyway, I love this. It is so beautiful. It's got gold hardware. So here's the interior line. Oh, it's so cute. It just has all of the little uh, little things like a cauldron, the eye from the book, just a bunch of different little things inside um, of the cosmetic. And they, and they label this as a cosmetic case. So um, uh, yeah, you could definitely use it as cosmetics or like what I would do, I would just use it in my bag uh, just as, um, just something to put stuff in, you know, not necessarily cosmetics. I don't carry a bunch of cosmetics around with me, so um, I wouldn't be using it for that. But it is so awesome. I love it. And again, I got this at Pink All Mode, and it was, oh my gosh, I want to say I paid about $6 for this, um, which is incredible for this this particular case. I love it. So thanks Pink All Mode for the sale. So y'all, this bag that I want to show you is one that I was so excited to get because you know what a huge fan of Nightmare Before Christmas I am. This is a Lounge Flight exclusive. It's from the Fall 2022 convention and it's limited edition. You can get it on um, Lounge Flight's website, but I got mine off of Hot Topic, so it must be a shared uh, a release or exclusive, and it is Dr. Finkelstein. Oh, I love him. So if you remember um, in Nightmare Before Christmas, Dr. Finkelstein is the one who created Sally, and he's always trying to keep her under wraps, and so this is just a darling bag. I love cosplay bags, you know that. And I just thought the whole thing, you've got buttons on his doctor's coat right here, and you've got this piece up here um, that is like his head, and I think that comes off. Oh yes, it does, it snaps. Hold on, this is gonna be hilarious. So you can lift, you can take the whole thing off, or you can just lift it up. I like just lifting it up because that's how it is in the movie. So I love it. He's got eyes and everything. You've got the beautiful logo tag in black piano finish over here that says Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas. I just love it. I'm gonna put his little head back down. <laughs> love it. So this little zipper pull looks like a little, um, like a, a doctor's vase or something and it says deadly nightly shade let me show you that up close okay so there it is look at that isn't that darling i love it and again it has two side pockets look at the back
that's him in his wheelchair. I just love it. It is so pretty. Um, it has silver hardware. And there's your tag showing the fall convention. And y'all, it's weird. Um, I took this straight out of the plastic. And my straps were not banded up. That's so weird. Neither one of them. That's odd. But anyway, I'll fix it. I'll put them in little straps myself. Let me bring it up so you can get up close of everything, okay? So there's his head. And going up, you see his doctor's coat with the buttons. Just love it. This is such a beautiful, beautiful bag. So this retailed at $90. And again, it is so beautiful. Let's look inside to see what the interior lining is. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, look at that. It's got frog's breath, worm's wart, all the stuff Sally put in a suit to try to get him to go to sleep. So here we go. Isn't that darling? Let's see if it's got, it has a slip pocket. So definitely love this bag. So another bag that I got um, from the holiday um, releases that we had in our Disney community online was another bag that I was so excited with. It took forever for it to come as they normally do. I can't even remember if this got here before Halloween. I hope it did. Um, but I haven't carried it nevertheless. And I will have it for next year Oh, it's so cute. Take that off. Oh, it's so cute. This is the first time. Oh, my. So, this was the lovely bag that I got in the mail. I love it. I loved it from the first time that I saw it. And I was just tickle pink to pick it up. And this is the um, Lounge Fly um, Spider Mickey. And it is so pretty. It glows in the dark, I believe, especially the lot um, up here in the eyes and the mouth and the nose, probably the ears as well. Just adorable. Let me bring it up. Look at those ears. And you have the plaque, the logo tag right here in the middle that's outlined with a white vegan leather right there. And it's got the little spider feet. And look at the smile. I love it. There's feet over here as well. And y'all, look at this. Oh my gosh. Y'all, look at this. Look, I'm going to have to pull it to the leg. <laughs> look at the gorgeous zipper pull. Is that not beautiful? I love it. Just gorgeous. So, so pretty. It does have side pockets on both sides. Y'all, I love the embossing of spider webs all over. Look up here. Can you tell it? Can you see that? I just think that's so beautiful. Now, let's look at the back. I know this glows in the dark. It's boo, and it has the embossing all over back there as well. <gasps> oh, this boo part is an applique, and it's just got black straps. It's silver hardware. So beautiful. Let's look at the interior lining. See what it is. Oh, it's just kind of like a dark with really light spider webs all over and it has a slide it has a slip pocket in the back so absolutely love this bag i'm so tickled to have it now and i cannot wait to carry it um i'd love to carry it um i could still probably carry it now just for a little while and then, but I'll definitely have it for next year. And I just love it. So beautiful. Love this one. Now the next two bags that I want to share with you, I am so excited to have them in my collection. Um, <laughs> I love these. 
Um, and I'm shocked I've been able to hold off and not mess with them until this video. <laughs> but they are amazing. As soon as I saw them, I knew they had to come to me because I was just obsessed with them. Oh my gosh. This is so me, y'all. Oh my gosh, I love them. <laughs> yes! Now that is so funny. This one's not either. I wonder if it's, be I don't know why that is. This one was not fixed either. Maybe it's because it's a patent leather um, type feel. So I'm sure that's what that's all about. Um, but anyway, this is the pearl finish. Um, and this one is Mickey Mouse. And it's a cream color, y'all. Ah! I love it. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love the zipper pull. I love the zipper pull. Oh, and it's all in a patent leather finish. And oh my gosh, I love it. Let me bring it up so you can see it, okay? So... I know I got a lot of light going on in here, but uh, you can see the eyes and everything. The pants, you can see the buttons for the pants. This gorgeous uh, logo tag that's in a cream color. And y'all, look at the zipper. Oh my gosh, is that not gorgeous? It's wrapped, so um, take some of the shine off of it for, for right now. The logo tag, there's the bottom, here's the side. So beautiful. And y'all, look at the back. It says it is Mickey Pearl Cosplay. And look at the back, it's got Mickey Mouse embossed. Can you see that? It's supposed to be subtle. Oh my gosh. Y'all, I love this. Oh my gosh. Silver hardware, probably said that already. And let's see what the interior is. Oh, it's so cute. It is just a really light color. It could be gray and just, uh, I got something on me. It could be gray. It's a gray interior with a silhouette of Mickey. So pretty. And let's see what kind of pocket. It has a zipper, y'all. So beautiful. Oh my gosh. So y'all, I am in love with Mickey. So let me get Minnie out. So if I got Mickey, I had to get Minnie. You know that. There's no way I wasn't getting both. And so, love this one. This one's gonna be my favorite, I know. Y'all, this one is gorgeous. <laughs> oh, this is my favorite. Love the bow, love the bow. Love the little uh, embossed polka dots. I don't know if you can see that, but I'll bring it up in a minute. It's really just like the other one, except it's just the mini version. And let me bring it up and let you see it. Oh my gosh. So beautiful. Look at that. The beautiful patent leather bow. The ear, everything. It's all over patent leather. Now look at that mini mouse polka dots all over the front pocket. You got that same gorgeous logo tag. And you have this beautiful Minnie Mouse zipper pull, just like you had Mickey. You've got the sides with the Minnie Mouse polka dots also. Oh, I love it. On the back, you have got Minnie Mouse signature on the back, just like he did with Mickey Mouse. So beautiful. Let me see if it's the same exact thing on the inside. If so, uh, we won't even go through that. Yeah, it's the exact same thing, except it's Minnie Mouse's silhouette instead of Mickey Mouse. So y'all, I am just so thrilled to have both of these. 
Oh my gosh. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I am so happy to have these in my collection. Okay guys, another bag that I got in that was like one of my grail bags because I've been trying to get it. It hadn't been successful. And Pink All Mode got some of these in extra. And I was so lucky enough to get one. And I purchased it. They did not send it to me. I purchased this bad boy. And it is the gorgeous. Do they call this the celebration? What do they call this? No, it just says, uh, no, it just says Disney Minnie Mouse Purple Sequins Mini Backpack. It is the beautiful iridescent purple sequins from Pink All Mode. And y'all, I missed it and didn't get it the first time and I regretted it. Oh, I've regretted it so badly. And y'all, I saw this and when I realized they had a couple of extra. Woo, I jumped on it. <laughs> but it is stunning. It's all sequins all over except for the very back. And it has an iridescent, uh, feels like um, patent leather bow. It has that same iridescent uh, trim on it. Just silver hardware. It does have side pockets. And I'll show you the bike when we get to it. So let me bring it up and let you see it, okay? Well, let me take the ear things off so that you can see it more easily. Oh, wow, is it not gorgeous? Look at that sparkle. Um, you got your logo tag right there in the middle. Just beautiful. I just love the bow. Uh, I mean, gosh. The, the sequins are just going nuts. They're just gorgeous. You've got a side pocket with the iridescent on the inside. This side too. And y'all, look at the back. It is that gorgeous, just iridescent vegan. It feels like patent leather. So whatever the material is they use for the patent leather, that's what it feels like, but it's all iridescent finish. So gorgeous. Now, the other bags, the, the patent leather bags of Mickey and Minnie, I thought the straps would have been fixed like this. So I'm going to have to fix, I'm going to have to fix them like this so that anything that's kind of like a patent leather finish, they generally will do it like this and they tuck them up under the bag. So beautiful. My goodness. That is stunning. I am so thrilled that I was able to get one of these from Pink All Mode. Oh my gosh. Polka dots, yes. You know I'm a huge polka dot fan. And what is on the back? Nothing. There is no interior pocket at all. But you do have one on the front and then you have um, two side pockets as well. So beautiful, beautiful bag. I'm just so thrilled to finally have this one in my collection. Oh, I got the pink one that was released, the cotton candy one, um, some time ago. And then I was able now to get this one. I'm just so thrilled. You have no idea. So love this for my sequence collection. Okay, something else I want to share with you is, um, I don't know, about a week ago, we could, well, more than a week, maybe a couple weeks ago, um, I went on Vera Bradley's website and they were having a huge sale for the warehouse, the outlet, I'm not the warehouse, but the outlet. And I picked up a couple of things, uh, well, one of which I'm going to be taking to Disney with me when I go in December. And y'all, this, you know... I have medicines that I take in the morning. I have medicines that I take at night. And in the past when I go to Disney, I just put all of my medicine bottles in a big bag. And you know, I'm always 
scared they're gonna stop me about my bottles of medicine and security and so you know what I said I'm tired of looking those bottles all the way there and all the way back so they had this marked down for near nothing and I picked one up and it's this beautiful covered and uh let's see if it gives me the print name because I forget Peacock Garden. So this is the Peacock Garden, and I got such beautiful placement right here with the peacock right on the front, and you know I love flowers. And here's the back. So, so cute. And so here's the inside, and it gives you all of these containers that, there's a bunch in here, two, four, six, seven. Well, there's seven. <laughs> For seven days but they come like this and it says Monday morning noon Monday evening and Monday night so it gives you four options to put pills in for the day and it gives you a seven day supply of those little containers so I'm only gonna be gone for like four four nights five days so um, you know I won't need them all obviously but I'm glad that I have seven days for a seven day trip if I ever take one. So love this, again, it's regularly $45 and I got it under 15. I think it was maybe 14, $15, somewhere in that range. But it is again, Vera Bradley and this is Peacock Garden and I love it to take to Disney when I go in December. So another thing they had at the uh, online outlet and if any time I can get a Disney piece at a steal, you know, girl's gonna be on it because I love my Disney beer Bradley. And so this one, y'all, was up there and it was on sale. Oh, I wish I saved all the little information. I could tell you exactly what it cost me, but I can't remember. So anyway, this is the Clan Shell Cosmetic Case from Vera Bradley, and it's in the Sensational Six Paisley print. And you know, I'm a sucker for Paisley. Look at this print, y'all. Look how gorgeous it is. It's the, I love the quilted um, background. This is all embroidered. And you got Mickey and Minnie right on the front. You've got this Paisley coming up here. I just love it. And then turn it around to the side, I mean to the back, you've got that just the quilted effect. Here is the zipper pull, y'all. It is just darling. It's got a hidden Mickey on it. I love it. And let's open it real quick while I'm up here at the camera and show you the inside. So it's the beautiful, just a beautiful print, but it has that rubbery lining so that you can use it with cosmetics or anything that you think might spill or whatever it don't have to be cosmetics it could be something else but love it oh my gosh i love it and y'all it's so spacious look at that y'all i'm so tickled over this particular piece and again, it's from Vera Bradley. It's regularly $50, and I know I did not pay that. It was under 20, but I just can't remember the exact price, but absolutely love this, and it could most definitely be going with me to Disney. <laughs> okay, y'all, I got another exclusive to share with you, and I'm just thrilled over. Um, and it is from 707 Street. And I can't believe it's finally here. Oh my goodness. 707 Street has some of the best exclusives ever. Aha! Look at Russell. Is he not adorable? Look at this, y'all. Look at how much pops up. <laughs> it's so darling, y'all. It looks just like Russell. So this is like the zipper pull. And it is like a pennant, or what do you call that? Like a the little flag or whatever. And then here's the front. You see all of his badges, his little bandana coming down. Look, a pocket on his shirt. And then you have the zipper there. Here is the Disney logo tag here on the side. Oh, it's so pretty. And y'all are going to die 
over the back. <laughs> Look, is that not precious? It's an applique on the back and it's the house with the balloons going up. Oh, I love it. This is such an awesome bag, y'all. It has silver hardware and um, it just has, it's yellow and orange all over, just trim. It's a yellow bag with orange trim. It has the orange uh, straps in the back. Let's see what the interior is. Oh, it has the up house all on the inside. That is adorable. Let's see what kind of pocket it has. A zipper! It has a zipper, y'all. That's awesome. Y'all, their zippers are like butter. I mean, they have some of the best quality zippers out there. And I just love this one. I'm so glad I have it. Now I've got Carl as the old man. I've got the young Carl on pre-order with 707 because they did a young Carl with the glasses and everything, like the goggles. And so I'm just so excited to have a, a little collection of Up uh, lounge fly bags. They're just amazing. So... I think you can still get this at 707 Street. Okay, y'all, I've got another bag for you. I'm so excited, because it's another holiday bag. But it's not Halloween. It's not fall. So what does that leave? Y'all, this bag is gorgeous. I'm gonna be honest with you. When I first saw this bag, um, come out that it was going to be the Christmas bag for this year. I'm going to be honest, I wasn't a huge fan right off the bat from what was on the front. Um, but y'all, seeing this thing in person, oh my gosh, it's stunning, y'all. Y'all, let me tell you, this bag is still available on Shop Disney's website, so I would highly suggest to get it. It will eventually sell out. And you're going to be left paying high prices because this bag is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Look at that, y'all. Oh my gosh. I can't tell you. This, this, this does not do it justice. The, the redness in the sequins is very uh, rich and just gorgeous and i love 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 the gingerbread and um treats uh all over this bag and y'all let me just bring it up the logo tag oh my gosh y'all look at this that logo tag look at the richness in that red so beautiful and it is a zipper pocket behind this look at the zipper pool y'all it is a gingerbread and look it's a gingerbread man and it is huge there are no side pockets but i love this mint color this bluish mint color whatever it is look at the the straps on their back on the back is striped Oh, and it's got red, just solid red extension straps. It has a handle at the top. Oh my gosh. I love this zipper pull. It's gold hardware, which you know is my favorite. And let's unzip it and see what the interior is. Oh, it's so festive. Look at that. It is gorgeous. And let's see what the back is. There's nothing. Yet again, to confirm my belief, they never put pockets in park bags. So it is a park exclusive. And y'all, oh my gosh, I love it. Wow, I'm telling y'all. I love it. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I love this gingerbread man as the zipper pull. 
I love the gorgeous richness of this sequins red back here. Oh, and it just has the whole Mickey look right there. I love the stripes on the strap. It's red on the bottom. I'm, I'm in love. I'm in love with this bag. I really did not like it when I first saw it online, but I'm so glad that I decided to get it. It's stunning. It's a beautiful Christmas bag. You need to get one, trust me. You're gonna love it when you see it in person. I just think it's beautiful. And the gingerbread man is just, oh, I love it. Okay, I have another bag. It's another holiday bag. Yes, it is. Let me open it and show you what I got. Yes, it is the new Dooney and Burke Christmas tote. Um, it was on Shop Disney. Had to take the little thing off. Look how pretty. Oh my goodness. Take that off. I think I'm gonna leave the ones on the strap though. Let's get the straps out. Oh yes. Oh y'all, and it's the kind and it's the kind that I like because it has hardware on the strap so that they lay down like they're doing right now. So let me show you this up close. It is beautiful, such a huge front pocket here on the front, but this is the Christmas pattern for this year from Denny and Burke. A lot of people I think are thrown off by the green, but I don't want everything to be a red bag. If you do, it's gonna be the same thing every year. Like last year was gray. And so I was really happy to see something different for this year. And if you're a Dooney and Burke fan like I am, you will know that Dooney and Burke is famous for their beautiful green, like deep green color um, that they do in their coated cotton bags. And that's what this is. It's this coated cotton. It's not leather. It's not vegan leather. It's coated cotton. Now the trims, everywhere you see leather, this is real leather. It's not vegan leather. It's the real deal. So these are beautiful. Let's look at it up close. Look at this gorgeous tag right here. It's got Disney on it. Oh, did I hold that upside down? I'm not sure I did. Here's the Disney tag um, with the leather uh, tag there. Leather little strap here for the zipper. And then you have the logo tag right here. And you can see, let me pull back this. You can see the hardware that allows your straps to lay down, which I absolutely love. I love that these are longer straps and they fit plus size ladies as well. And such a beautiful, beautiful bag. Um, love this. Here's the back. You can see a bigger print of everything here on the, on the back. Oops, sorry. On the back. So pretty. And as always, feet on the bottom, just gorgeous. And let's look inside. You can see here, it's red interior. This does have a zipper and you can zip it. Um, 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 let me get it. It's the kind that'll lay down and I'm fine with that because I generally will leave my totes open because I like an open tote. Uh, but for those who like the added security, um, you can actually zip it to your liking and tuck the little tail. That's what I'm trying to do, tuck that tail down. But here's what the uh, zipper looks like. So really, really functional. And like I said, I like to leave mine open. So I'll just open that back up. It has a, a zipper pocket and a slip pocket right there, which is famous for Dooney and Burke. Very functional bags. And then you've got two very large slip pockets on that side. Dooney and Burke's got some of the best functionality in their bags ever. I absolutely love it. So yeah, this is the new Christmas bag from Dooney and Burke. It's on Shop Disney. Uh, I'm not sure if it's still on there now or not, but you can look. Um, I need to go back and look. I hadn't looked at uh, the Dooney and Burke bags in a while. So, uh, since I bought this one, but I absolutely love it and 
so tickled to have it for Christmas. Y'all, I'm so excited. I've got a couple more things to show you. Um, I had wanted this particular item since I saw it on uh, Box Lunch. However, Box Lunch sold out, and I've never been able to find it again. And so, y'all, I found this on Amazon. Look! <laughs> you know, me and I both are huge Star Wars fans. And this is a lighted sign uh, that I am just so tickled that I found. And it was only like $24 or something. But it is a sign, you know, I'm going to have a section here in my room of nothing but Star Wars. And so, I love it. I'm going to be doing this. I'll insert a picture here to show you what it looks like when it's lit up. Uh, but I absolutely love it. It just takes, you can put it um, in an adapter and plug it up if you want to, but I just put batteries in it. Uh, it's not something that I'm going to run all the time, but every once in a while I might put it on. But I love it! Oh, so thrilled to have this for my collection. Now again, you know, um, I love Vera Bradley and I love Star Wars. So when I saw this bag come out, I had to get it for my Vera Bradley collection and Star Wars collection. But it is so awesome. I'm so tickled to have it. Um, it is, let me get this little fuzz balls off of it that was in the bag. Um, it is the Darth Vader Vera Bradley tote. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Is that not awesome? And I love the straps. Look at the straps, y'all. They're red and black. So, so beautiful. It does have a zipper top. Let me show you the interior. Now, you know that I was talking about how awesome uh, Dunia Burke is with their functionality. Vera Bradley is the same way. So look at this. You've got a you've got six slip pockets on the inside. Um, look how gorgeous this is. This is actually called the Small Vera. Um, if you are all familiar, you can see the tag there. Isn't that awesome? Um, if y'all are familiar with Vera Bradley at all, you know there's a Vera bag. It's named Vera, and it's huge. I store knitting, cross stitch. I got a couple, and I store stuff in those, or like stuff that I like to keep up with that I work on projects and things like things like that because they're huge. You could carry it as a carry-on. They're huge bags, but this is a small Vera, which is perfect for everyday um, use. And look at there, you've got, look at there, you've got the Star Wars Vera Bradley tag. You can see that interior lining, all the pockets. It is just beautiful. And again, it has a zipper pull, which I love because if I decide I want to have a, a closed bag for any reason, like if I wanted to go on an airplane and carry one of these, um, I definitely could close it up for more security and just for things not falling out. But don't you love it? <gasps> Look at that. Oh my goodness. The work is amazing. This is all embroidered and stitching. And then you have kind of a quilted effect. So, so pretty. But I love this for my Star Wars collection. Love it. Okay, so the last thing I want to share with you is a bag that I got off of Amazon. And my good friend Zach, who is Lounge Fly Lad, um, he had put this up. Um, I, I'll be honest, I don't really keep up with the releases on Amazon at all. So um, I never really post those unless, you know, I see it come out for myself. But Zach had posted this particular bag as being a pre-order on Amazon. And you know, couldn't pass it up because 
It is, what do they call it? What do they call it? It is the Star Wars X-Wing Helmet Backpack. Oh! <laughs> do you not love it? I love it. I have this helmet. Um, the actual helmet I've already got. Um, um, I think it's a Black Series a helmet, and I just love it. And when I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta have it. So you can see you've got your Rebel Alliance uh, logos right there. Here is your eyewear up here on the front. You've got your chin piece from the helmet right here. So awesome. Coming to the side, you've got the what would typically be on the side of the helmet. So I can get it up closer so you can see it. So pretty. And then on this side, it's the same kind of thing, but you have the logo tag over here um, as well. And then on the back, you've actually got a X-Wing on the back. Look at that. So awesome. And oh, it's such a beautiful bag. You do have two side pockets, which seem a little bit shorter because this is a shorter bag than probably a normal mini backpack but that's totally fine with me i don't care oh look at the inside oh my gosh it just has all of the view of the back of um all of the view let me just take this out so we can see it better it has a slip pocket but it has um just the views of a x-wing so pretty oh my gosh I know I'm not doing it justice for you to see it but I love it and like I said it has a slip pocket I just love that Whoa, this is so awesome I am so glad I picked this up for my Star Wars collection y'all I'm just so thrilled over my Star Wars collection I can't even tell you I love it I love it as much if not more than my sequence collection. It just brings me joy. Because we're, me T and I both are just huge, huge Star Wars fans. This is what we grew up with. And um, I just love it so much. So, so glad to add this one to my collection. Okay, y'all, that's it. That is my whole mega haul. Holy macaroni, that was a lot. <laughs> But I was so excited to share it all with you. I've been kind of holding on to some pieces so I could share it all together. And I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm just thrilled for these pieces and um, looking so forward to putting them in my collection. And um, so that's it for now. Uh, thank y'all so much for being here. Be sure to go enter the contest for those gorgeous, gorgeous ears from ears abounding um miss carrie ann has done an amazing job on these ears so if you would like to win these definitely go below comment your favorite christmas movie and i will put you in the drawing for those gorgeous ears i'm gonna have all her information down below be sure to check her out at etsy um if you're not following me on my new youtube channel in addition to this one please be sure to go and check it out i'll put the link down below if you love dc pens you're gonna love this channel because that's what it's all about and um i just love it it's an amazing channel i'm having so much fun on it and it's called pixie peaches and pens so kind of wanted to make it similar to the one i have here you know, you can tell it's part of my channel. And, um, but anyway, it's all about Disney pins. I'll put the link down below. Uh, so go check that out. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for being here, and we'll see you the next time.